going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is paul this is the leads therapy we are wembley bound ladies and gentlemen we are wembley bound this is a little quick introductionary message to all of you people who doubted that we could do it to all of you people that said fark should leave and that he's a tactical idiot to all of the people that said that perot's not a number nine suck it up and take it for tonight Let's rejoice and enjoy ourselves. If you haven't done so already, if you could hit the subscribe button, uh, like the video for me as well. If you've got anything that you want to say, if you agree or disagree with my comments down below, comments all into there, type and speak properly. I'm sorry, I just burped into the microphone at the same time as well. I'm absolutely on cloud nine. What a performance. What a performance to a man. Unbelievably good just absolutely incredible i am so proud of those boys just so unbelievably proud of what they've managed to achieve what they've done and get into wembley listen nothing is ever given nothing is a guaranteed but that performance tonight is pretty much as good as it gets nobody expected us to do that nobody and just to a man everybody was brilliant that first goal was very very clever from gruev um he goes to Somerville and Somerville actually says, I'm pretty sure Somerville says to him that Gunn is standing quite far over onto his right-hand side. Um, and he takes the shot, the ball goes in, we score the first goal, fantastic, let's move it on. And then Piru gets his goal. Can we take a moment to just eulogise about how good that cross from Nonto was? absolutely inch perfect. Can we also talk about the fact that Piru peels off of his man, points with his left hand, stick it onto the far post, I'll get there. The cross is just disgustingly nice. I mean, it's disgustingly nice. And, oh, it just, it just a thing of beauty. And Piro gets in between keeper and the and the um, and the centre back. It's just, it's in no man's land. So Gun can't come from it. Gun wasn't very good tonight, despite the number of saves. I think we had eleven shots on target tonight as well. And Gun didn't have a good night. But if he had had, if if he'd been even worse, we would have scored an absolute bagful. But Piro's header was absolutely wonderful. And then just. Rutter's goal as well, really good to lift it in. It comes off of the crossbar and it goes in. And we get to the end of the first half and we're all sat there going, what in the Samuel hell? Where is this performance come from? Because we all saw the lineup at the start and we all thought, is he going to play 4-3-3 again? And then it was like, well, actually, no, it's probably going to be more kind of like the 4-2-3-1 that we've been used to. And everybody to a man was just, fan like I said, was fantastic. <clears throat> in terms of complete first halves, that is as good as it gets. And I just want to point out as well and say that Melier's save from Sargent at 2-0 down, for me, is the key moment of the game. Reason being, that goes in, it's a completely different game. And the Iceman does what the Iceman does. One-on-one, -on -one, he's one of the best shot stoppers going. One-on-one. -on -one. He's just brilliant at it as far as I'm concerned. And not only does he save it but he he also palms it away to stop the danger completely and just like i said everybody was good nonto was on it tracking back somerville was on it tracking back please for somerville's goal obviously furpo with another assist putting the ball across so what's that for somerville this season so far that's 21 goals and 11 assists that's 32 goal involvements what a phenomenal season and he scored does this and does this the mentality thing and you know i've criticized them for the mentality side of stuff but they showed up tonight they absolutely 100 percent showed up tonight so nothing more but you know props for them and just congratulations the rest of the game goes really really well everybody just puts a shift in archie gray just you forget that he's 18 he's taking people on he's making people look ridiculous just we kept all of their players 
their key players, especially quiet. So Sargent went off after the after the played only the first half, and I think it was a it was um, it was a punt for them to play him. I think um, because of the injury. So obviously he comes off at the end of the second half. Ashley Barnes, who we all hate, um, didn't have a good game. Every time they were trying to throw themselves and foul and everything, and it wasn't working. Also need to say, so I can't stop burping. <laughs> also need to say props to the referee who actually had a very, very good game. Ref the game really, really well. Didn't put up with any nonsense from anybody. And the game flowed nicely. And I think it's important to mention that. So props to the referee for doing that. But not only, I mentioned about Melier, but his distribution was a lot better tonight as well, which was really, really good to see. Kamara, box to box, fantastic. Did everything that we wanted him to do. The last two and a half games that he's played, he's been absolutely phenomenally good. Um, Archie Gray, as I said, mentioned, brilliant. And I genuinely think he's generational. Moving from right back and then having to come into the midfield section, um, when Rutter came off to go into the number 10 role. And it's just like, he's just, he just adapts. He's so, just so, so good. We're, we're, we're lucky to have him as a player. Peru, Peru <laughs> turned into a number nine tonight. That is the best that he has played in a League United shirt by an absolute country mile, which is a really, really good thing to say. And just, again, you look at his movement for the goal was just first class exactly what you want him to do exactly how you want him to be brilliant uh Somerville had Somerville again back to his best a little bit more but one of the things and I was on just on the Just Joe um stream the initial reaction for the actual game itself and one of the things that we were all talking about was there's been a bit of selfishness within the squad in terms of people trying to score goals themselves or try to you know, run through about 15 players to score a goal. And there was more of looking for potentially somebody who's in a better position. There was a lot of that on. And I think that was really well highlighted by um, the way that Somerville fought for the ball to come across for Rutter to score his goal. And again, you know, Nonto with the ball in. I would have liked to see Nonto get a goal, but, you know, it wasn't to be. But just overall, we were brilliant. And obviously, the highlight of it for me is seeing Coops come on. That was... A really, really nice touch. And I know he came out with his family afterwards as well. So I think, you know, this is the last we're going to see of, of Cooper in a Leeds United shirt. And, you know, hand on heart, you've just got to say thank you to the skipper. He's been an absolutely phenomenal servant to the club and everything that he's done. And, you know, the hoodoo of losing a playoff game is now gone. He's now gotten over that. Obviously, the Derby thing's gone. And we're going to get to Wembley. We're going to get to go to Wembley and do what we need to do. Hopefully, like I said, you know, you don't count your chickens. This isn't a foregone conclusion that we're going to win the game and go up. We have to turn up. We have to earn the right. If we play at Wembley like we did tonight, then we have every single chance going to get up. But it's not the time for getting worried and stressed about stuff. What is important for me tonight is that we celebrate the fact that Farker, tactically phenomenal over the two legs when you think about it. Absolutely stifled them at Carrow Road and then butchered them uh, at Ellen Road. Just brilliant. And, you know, a lot of people owe him an apology, I think. The team, all as one, played for each other. They stood, they fought, they did everything correct as it needed to be. And that was a just desserts. And, you know, yes, I am biased because I'm a Legion United fan, but for me, when we are on song like that, playing quick, incisive football with all the verticality that we need to be able to move the ball forward quickly. We can't be touched. It's just that simple. We, we just, we can't be touched. If, if we're not all at it like we were tonight, it's a different story. But nobody expected that performance. Nobody did. And we've come away from that game confidence is going to be sky high now we've now got 10 days to get ourselves sorted out ready for ready for Wembley and yeah I'm just I'm super happy I ain't sleeping tonight so I'm going to be watching every single video going and I'm going to be enjoying it and honestly you all should be enjoying it as well because seriously big big night tonight and 
I'm just I'm just so proud of the team, the club, everything. A lot of people bitched about the scarves being out as well, but obviously scarves worked. Thank God. So yeah, and the I predict a riot at the end of the game was um Chef's Kiss. Mwah. And Lee's falling apart again. Chef's Kiss. It just love it. Throw it at us because we will throw it back at you. But we'll do it at the times when we deserve it. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, click the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Also as well, comments that you want to make, please feel free to put them in the comment section down below. I love you all. Take care of each other and we will see you on the next one. Bye.